Good morning! Good morning, my lovely students! How are you today? I hope you're doing well! Ramadan Mubarak, everyone! So, how did you spend the first two days of Ramadan? Did you fast half a day? Did you pray? Did you read Quran? Did you help your mom? I am sure that you are the best and you did all these things. So now let's move to the lesson. It's English class and today we have a new lesson. But before starting the lesson, I need your help. I need someone to help me to read the day and date. So who will help me today to read the day and date? And remember, today is the first day of the week. So who will tell me? Who will help me? What's the day? Sunday. Well done, Sunday. And what's the date? April 26, 2020. Wow, that's very good. So, as I said to you so far, today we have a new lesson, right? And I want you to look at the picture and try to think what is the lesson about. I'm going to give you some time. Look at the picture and try to guess what is the lesson about. Okay, who can tell me? It's about vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary words. So everyone, today we are going to learn four new vocabulary words. So, look at the kids over here. They are super excited and they put their hands in the air. So everyone, put your hands in the air and shout, let's get started. Okay, everyone, your hands in the air. Shout and say, let's get started. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand the meaning of each word and also you can use grade level vocabulary in sentences. Let's start with our first word, the first word of today. But remember, every time we have a new vocabulary word to learn, we need to look at the picture and read the sentence because the picture and the sentence will help us to learn the meaning, right everyone? So, what I want you to do is to look at the picture and describe what can you see. You can use adjective words to help you to describe what can you see. So everyone, what can you see? A man and a boy. And what are they doing? Exploring and discovering new things. So, <clears throat> the man and the boy, they are trying to explore, discover, and learn new things about plants. So, our first word for today is... Exploration. Exploration. I want you to repeat everyone. Exploration. Exploration. Okay, and now let's read the sentence. Listen carefully. Exploration. We study plants during our exploration of the forest. So, what do you think is the meaning of this word? So, who can tell me? Think about it. Exploration means to discover and learn new things. To discover and learn new things. Thank you for helping. So, let's go and read what's written over here. Pay attention and listen carefully. Exploration. If you go on an exploration, you travel through a place to learn about it. We study plants during our exploration of the forest. Tell about what you might learn on an exploration of a beach. So everyone, if you go on an exploration, it means 
you are going to learn new things. And I think we used this term before in science, everyone, because in science we used to explore new things, right? So in every lesson, in science I mean in science subject, we discover new things about earth, landforms, landscapes, and so on. Here we go everyone, this is our second vocabulary word for today. So I need your help, I need you to help me. So look at the picture and try to describe what can you see. So what can you see everyone? I can see a boy sleeping. Good! And you know what everyone? Sleeping is very important. You need to sleep around 8 hours a day. So, you need to sleep early. Don't stay awake the whole night because it's not good for your health. Because sleeping is very important. And the second word is... Listen important. carefully. Important. Well done. Listen carefully. Important. I want you to repeat. Listen again. Important. 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 And now, let's read the sentence. Important. It is important to get a good night's sleep. Let's read the definition now. Listen carefully. Important. Something that is important matters a lot or is needed. It is important to get a good night's sleep. What are some important things to do in school? So what does this word mean? Who's going to help me? What does the word important mean? It means something that matters a lot or is needed. Well done! So can you use this word in a sentence? Yes. Okay, so can you say the sentence? Yes. My sentence is, moms are very important in our daily life. Wow, that's so cool. Moms are very important in our life. And that's true, everyone. What do you think? Let's move to our third vocabulary word and look at the video and tell me what can you see what can you see everyone let me first of all on the video machines machines are tools made of different parts that are used to do a certain job so everyone what's this a blending a machine it's a machine it's a machine so let's go and listen to the word and repeat the word, please. Machines. 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 Let's read the sentence. Machines make it easier to cook in our kitchen. Okay, so the word is machines. And as you can see, the mom here is using the blender. And the blender is a machine. We use it in the kitchen to uh, make juice or whatever. So let's read the definition together. Machines. Machines are tools made of different parts that are used to do a certain job. Machines make it easier to cook in our kitchen. Name some machines you have seen. So everyone... Machines are tools made of different parts that are used to do a certain job. So name some machines you have seen. Think about it. Go ahead. I have seen a vacuum machine and a washing machine. Washing machine and a vacuum. 
Well done. So everyone, can you think about some machines you have seen? It's your turn to answer. Yay! This is our last vocabulary word for today. So everyone, I want you to look at the picture and tell me what can you see? What can you see everyone? A boy. A boy? And what is the boy doing? Playing. Playing? And what else? Getting getting prepared getting ready to hit the ball right getting ready to hit the ball and the word that i can use instead of getting ready is prepare so listen to the word and repeat prepare prepare Prepare. Prepare. Hitting balls helps Ben prepare for his baseball game. Let's read the definition. Listen carefully, my lovely students. Prepare. When you prepare yourself for something, you get ready for it. Hitting balls helps Ben prepare for his baseball game. How can you prepare for a big trip? So can you put it in a sentence? Can you use the word prepare in a sentence? Yes. Go ahead. I prepared a present for my sister's birthday. Well done. I like your sentence and I like that you love your sister and you prepared the gift for her. Well done everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for listening. Thank you for helping. Thank you for uh, following my instructions. Now, task time. So we have two tasks to do. You can complete or you can choose to complete task one or task two. And if you want to complete two of them, it would be great. So task number one, task number one. Who will help me to do task number one? Me. Okay, so let's get started. So everyone, you need to choose the correct answer. So let's read what's written over here. This is the meaning, yeah? Here are the words and this is the meaning. So let's read what's written here. Matters a lot. Matters a lot. So which one is the correct word? That means matters a lot. Remember everyone, the boy who was sleeping in the picture and I told you sleeping is very Import important and needed. So the word is important. Well done. So let's move to uh, number two. Let's read what's written over here or let me say let's read the meaning and then choose the correct word so let's read the meaning together get ready for something get ready for something do you remember the boy who was in the picture standing and holding the bat to hit the ball do you remember that boy so he was ready to hit the ball so where is the correct word? Ex exploration. No. Important. No. Machines. Mm. No. Prepares the word. Well done. This is the correct word. So everyone, prepare means to get ready for something and the boy who uh, he was getting ready to hit the ball. So, question number three. I need your help. So, are you going to help me? Yes. 
Okay, so let's read the meaning and after reading the meaning, we will look for the correct word. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go and start. So, everyone, tools made, made of, of different, different parts that are used, used to do work. work. So, as you can see here are many machines. Okay, everyone, and these machines are made of different parts and that are used to do work. So, everyone, what is the correct word? Is it exploration? No. Mm, important? No. Machines? Yes. Correct. Well done. So, let's circle it. And now we will go to the last question. And here is our last question in task number one. So let's read the meaning together everyone and then try to find the correct word. I need your help. Who's gonna help me today? Who's gonna help me? Me. Okay, so let's read the or you read the meaning search to learn about new things look at the kids in this picture i think everyone they are studying science do you remember when i asked you to get your magnifying glass and we used it uh, outside in the playground yes. we went outside and we observed and explored new things. Do you remember? Yes. So, in science, we usually explore new things. So now, let's go and choose the correct word that matches this meaning. Okay, everyone? So, search to learn about new things. The correct word is? Exploration. Well done! So you got it quickly this time. So the word is? Exploration. Well done. So thank you everyone for helping me. Now let's move to task number... Number everyone? Two! Two! Task number two. So what we are going to do is to choose the correct word from the box below to complete each sentence. So are you ready? Yes! Let's do it! I need your help to read the first sentence. Everyone, the picture is here to help you. So you can use also the picture. The picture will help you to guess the meaning. So what you need to do is to read the sentence, look at the picture and Try to find out which word is correct. So, did you get it? Yes! Well done. So, let's go to number one. Let's read. I need your help. Okay. So, let's read it. It is to wear your seatbelt to stay safe. So, it is exploration? No. It is important? Yes. Excellent. So everyone, it is important to wear your seat belt to stay safe. So let's write the word over here. Can you help me to spell the word? Yes. I N P O R T A N T. Thank you everyone. So my lovely readers, I need your help to read number two, so let's read it together. A computer is one kind of... So what is the correct word, everyone? Think mm. about it. The computer is a... Machine. Well done. So let's write it together. I need your help to spell the word. So let's get started. M A C H I N E S. Well done. Great. So now let's move to number three. 
and read it together. Look at the picture. Everyone, remember the picture will help you. So let's read the sentence. I for rain by putting on a raincoat. So if I say I am getting ready for rain by putting on a raincoat. So which words I can use instead of getting ready? What is the word? Prepare. Well done. Can you help me everyone? Yes. Okay, let's go and spell the word. P. So, okay, one sorry. minute. Okay, let's go. P. R. E. P. A. R. E. Thank you so much. Now let's go to number four. The last one. And my lovely readers, let's read it together. We studied plants during hour of the forest. So, we studied plants during our... So, what is the last word? So, listen. We finished. Machines. And prepare. And important. So, the last word is... Exploration. Thank you very much. So, we're going to write it over here. So, please, I need your help to write... To write it correctly. E. X. P L O R A T I O N. Thank you. And here is our closure, the last thing that we are going to do for today. You have two options option one and option two. And I prefer to go to option number Two, which is to put the four vocabulary words that we learned today in sentences. Finally, after completing your work, don't forget to upload a picture or a video of it in your class dojo portfolio and have a great day. Bye everyone! Bye!